I don't know. These liberals are so unpredictable and so brilliant. I think this guy's going to catch me. Jason, back to you, Maryland, WMAL. Go ahead, restate your premise. Well, I just don't understand all of this outrage over the three people killed in Boston. Yet it wasn't even close to this much outrage when 26 people died in Newtown. And it has, I'm trying to figure out what the difference is. I'll tell you what, let me, let me help you. Let me help you. You're a very sick man. <laughs> You're a very, very sick man. Look at your twisted mind at work. Not All right, you. quiet, quiet him down. You're a foil, pal. Just pay attention. I'll try and educate you, but I figure you're over the edge. You're a very sick man, and I'm going to tell you why. There was outrage from one end of this country to the other over what happened in Connecticut. People were horrified, horrified, that 20 little babies were murdered and six brave adults were murdered. Disgusted and horrified. You liberals seem to think that if we don't embrace your agenda, that somehow you're more compassionate than we are, that somehow um, life is more important. And yet, look at you. Notice you didn't mention the slaughterhouse in Philadelphia and that piece of crap, that mangle of there, keeping in jars different feet from different babies, slitting throats of babies after the. Notice how you. You steadfastly avoided that because you're very, very sick. And let me move on. See, we condemn it all, pal. Got that, Jason? Bring him back up. If you paying attention? Hey, quiet down. Are you paying attention? Because I'm educating you for once in your stupid life. My alarm again. <laughs> now, notice, folks, his compassion as a liberal. Only three people died in Boston, he said. Didn't he say that, Mr. Producer? Only three died in Boston, you see, and the outrage there is 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 much more than that than happened in in Connecticut. Now I'm sorry, I don't have a Frank Putz focus group where we all have clickers like Pavlov with his dogs. All right, press the click. Oh, look at that! The Republicans and the Democrats. Oh, look at this! No, we don't do that here. Now, let me explain something to you, Jason, and all you other liberal morons out there. All murder is to be denounced. Whether at the hands of a Mengele, whether at the hands of a nut job who walks into an elementary school, or whether at the hands of two terrorists. And we do our best to stop it all. We do our best to stop it all. Bring them back up. You paying attention? Now shut up. Notice? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, Mark Levin thinks of, him, thinks of himself as a constitutional hero. Apparently he's not too hot on the First Amendment. All right, bring him back up. Ah, shut him down! Ch censor him! Stop talking! He might say something that's true! And look, the, the fundamental flaw in Levin's overly dramatic acting job of an argument is when he says, all, all murder should be denounced, and we care about all murder equally. We denounce it all. But no, Mark, you don't. And that's demonstrably true to show that. When it's a Muslim who kills people, all of a sudden people want to kick out all Muslim students and, and immigrants. They want to trash the right to privacy and trash search, search warrants and the Constitution. They go to DEFCON 413. But when it was the Newtown situation and it was a white guy, what was the response? What Levin doesn't get is, what are you going to do about the murders? You know what liberals want to do, what we want to do? We want to prevent the murders. You know what Levin wants to do? Nothing. That's why Levin was in favor of killing that moderate, vanilla gun background check bill, which wasn't even a universal background check bill, which 91% of the American people supported. You can say, oh, my heart goes out to them, and oh, it's such a horrible thing, yada, yada, yada. Show me action. What are you going to do to prevent the next one, you dumbass? And he's on his moral high horse, chastising this poor guy, as if 
to suggest this guy is in favor of the people being killed at Boston, but not at Sandy Hook. No, you idiot. He's saying prioritize, use facts, use numbers. Realize the reality of what goes on in the country, that 11,000 gun deaths happen every single year on average, when in uh, countries with some form of gun control, it's less than 100 on average. We want to prevent the next one. You are in our fucking way. So who's really against murder? We're against it. Apparently you're not against it because your actions speak louder than your incredibly annoying voice. But he's not done yet. Let him continue here. Now, Jason, who's probably in a fit of road rage right now, is my guess. Police in Maryland, keep an eye out for Jason. I'm guessing that he opposes the death penalty, so he's not really serious about addressing crime. Mm, you're guessing. I'm guessing he supports parole. Guess some more. I'm guessing he supports what used to be the controversial 1966 Miranda ruling. I'm guessing he's your typical knee-jerk left-wing liberal who wants to coddle criminals. You nailed it, Mark. You nailed it. I bet he doesn't want to secure the border because, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to many, many fine foreigners who come here illegally to pick lettuce, to quote the great John McCain, there are people who come here who don't pick lettuce. You know, they join gangs, they sell drugs, they get guns, they kill people, and they join American citizens. I love this. So all immigrants are uh, are guilty of a crime, of course. You do things like that. To or they're lettuce pickers. We're dealing with a real genius here. And I don't see the liberals wanting to appoint law and order judges at the local, state, and federal level. No, they don't support that. You still with us, Jason? You were still with us. All right, all right, shut him down. <laughs> I'm very scared of Jason. It's like an SNL skit. I mean, his intellect is way up there. I, 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 I'm telling you, a Frank Putz focus group, they'd all be hitting a clicker. It'd be through the roof. Jason's so smart. I'm so afraid of him. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, if I let him back on, he'll just keep talking over. Oh. And oh. that's monotonous. I bring him back. Now get off the phone, you big dope. There he goes. No, 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 no. Uh, that's amazing. Therein lies the pathetic, ironic, hypocritical joke that is Mark Levin. A, a third grader could see through his bullshit there. That entire part started out as a complete straw man. Just make up uh, whatever you want to pretend that your opponent is a, quote, typical knee-jerk liberal, as you are in the middle of a rant that exposes you as a typical knee-jerk conservative. That's awesome. He pretends liberals are against judges? He actually said that at one point. And, and liberals are against the law. Of course, of course we are. Just, he makes it up. And it's a guise for his real agenda when he goes on that long rant about immigrants. He's saying, look, I'm not in favor of any immigration. You heard him say it. They're either lettuce pickers or criminals. And then, uh, the best for last, man. Quote, I'm so scared of Jason. Yeah! Yeah, you fucking are, because you didn't let him say a word but his 10-second premise. And then every time he tried to get a word in edgewise, you said, well, God, shut him down, lower it. And then the best, man, the absolute best. Quote, I would let him on, but he's, he'd just talk over me. Need I say more? Who was talking over who there, Mark? You blithering idiot. Man, what a pathetic excuse for an intellectual.